this meeting is is you know open to obviously people are making a record and verbal or taking verbal recordings and that's fine. But um, I just saw someone videotaping a, a gentleman who just shared a very painful story, and that's, that's not what this is about. It's not about but people. But people need to see this. People need to see because it's not like you guys are recording it. Are you okay with that? Would you like the community to see that you're paid, and would you like them to know? Would you want? Do, do you want people to see what's going on? Is it okay? With you? Thank you. So he's okay with it. Okay. Uh, it was me, please, told me. Please bear in mind that there are other people in the shop as well. That's all. Do you guys mind? No. Okay. No. Don't worry. I can't even go that far. Sorry, can I just say? No, no, no. We are going to go back to speaking one at a time. Please, please. I Sorry, I'm... I'm yeah, I don't need it, sis. Sorry, can I just say, I only started off as a volunteer. I went in and gave donations, and I've been on the ground with this community from day dot with my children at Ackman Village, with Sharifa, with Nashua, and I'm sure there's many more. I have walked from Ackman Village down to Grenfell Tower every day since this disaster happened. I'm in this room. This lady needs counselling. She's traumatised. There's Jessica's mother's there. This gentleman here, the other gentleman over there, there's no counsellors for these people. I'm dealing with people that are coming into the village with no shoes, with no food. They're in hotels that provide breakfast for them only and no dinner. And when people are going around saying, oh, there's all these donations, yes. I don't want none of these people to have to think about food. I want them to be able to have as much as they can have to survive. They don't even need to go anywhere. I'm hearing stories of people being knocked on their door at 2 o'clock in the morning and being told that they are being evicted evicted, there is a car waiting for them and they have to go. There is a letter that came out from the DWP yesterday and it stated that any of the residents that take whatever amount that they're getting, they have to declare this and then it will then affect their housing benefit. You have got people that have language barriers that do not understand this. You have people that are in a traumatised condition and you're putting documents in front of them for those that that no, there are no caseworkers for these people. It's been reiterated, there are no social workers for these people. We are trying to organise these things for people. We don't know where everybody is. All we know is that the pockets that we do reach, we try and help. There's Jessica's uncle there. It's only by fate that our paths met. And I haven't put this man down from day dot or his family. We go out there, we make our packages, we make sure that the people receive what they need. We try and give as much as we can do. Every time, for the first week on the Saturday, we organised people, we packed clothes, we found what people needed, we put them in the vans, only for when those vans got to the designated centres that the Red Cross and the council were taking our donations and refusing them to those people. Then we had to stop back up, put them back in those vans and bring them back and store them where we are. At the end of the day, I have heard the Red Cross are trying to take these donations and sell them off. I'm hearing schools that are raising money but these people are not getting the funds. At the end of the day, this is wrong. This is wrong. These people need help. It needs to be organised. Some of these people aren't in their right minds. Please don't try and explain to them you fill in this form, and I'm not taking it out on you. But, my dear, I have been with these people from day dot. I don't get into my own blessed home until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I thank to God that I have mine. But what I'm saying is, these people need so much support. They need counselling. Aren't the children? I have a picture of a child that has a drawing of a building on fire with his friend flying. I see 11-year-old boys that look like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders because they haven't spoken to their friends since the night that it happened. These are young men. These are young girls. I had a four-year-old girl come in and say she wanted to give her toys to those children because she didn't want them to be sad. Now, if that's a four-year-old child, why can't our ministers in Parliament that we pay blasted taxes to day in, day out? Why don't they be sad? Why? They have so many houses in South Kensington. If they really wanted to 
to help. This woman would get a house. That woman would get a house. They wouldn't be moved to Watford. They wouldn't be moved to Greenford. They have the capacity. All we're asking is they please have some compassion. How can you tell people, take the £5,500, but we're going to deduct your housing benefit and it will affect your benefits because of it? That's humane. There should be some compassion. This is exceptional circumstances. These people are going through things that they should never have had to go through before in their lives, but they are. And the fact that they have been strong. I've been talking to young men every single night and been telling them that this war, they have to fight within the law, with the law, against this law, because that's the only way they're going to win. Burning down things doesn't make any difference. We can march until our shoes wear down and our ankles get thicker, but it's not going to change anything. At the end of the day, all I know is the powers that be have money, they have time, which is why they can drag out Hillsborough for 30 odd years, but for something for nothing, this community will not let this die just like that. Yeah. Yeah.